in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The Islamic Studies Department of Pakistan International School Students Lecture Number 4 for Grade 6 Our topic of today is from Chapter 2 Faith and Prayers Tawheed Belief in Oneness of Allah Instructions Dear Students Watch the video when you are ready. Must have a pen, paper, or notebook to write down important points. In case of any confusion stop the video and write it down at that specific moment and continue the video. If you find answer in the later part of video it's fine, otherwise feel free to ask question from your subject teacher for clarity. At the end you have to complete given task and worksheet. Students your knowledge will be tested according to given instructions, so be vigilant. Tawheed is an Arabic word which means the belief that there is only one God, Allah, confirming the oneness of Allah. It is the basis of Islam. Proof Surah al it is in just 30 it has 4 verses and it is 112th Surah of the Holy Quran. It sums up the essence of Islam. Allah is one and there is nothing comparable to Him. The whole universe goes on smoothly day after day, year after year and season after season. The sun always rises from the east and sets in the west. If there were more than one power then there would be confusion all around. Allah is the most loving, most merciful. Allah says in the Holy Quran. He is Allah besides whom there is no other God, knowing the unseen and the visible. He is the most gracious, the most merciful. He is Allah, besides whom there is no other God, the Sovereign the holy, the source of, peace, the secure, the preserver, the powerful, the irresistible, the grandiose. Glory be to Allah ahead of anything they may associate, with him. He is Allah, the creator, the evolver, the shaper. His are the finest names. Everything in heaven and earth celebrates him. He is the powerful, the wise. The six kalimas are the basic beliefs of Muslims all. They practice these beliefs and include the basic principles in their lives. First Kalima, Tayyib, Purity. It is also referred to as Tawheed meaning unification of oneness of God. This is the first pillar which is the central principle in Islam. It holds that Allah is one. As for the declaration, Muhammadun Rasul Allah, its meaning is the declaration of the message of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and to believe in it and to follow his action and faith, and to avoid all that is against it, whether it be sayings, actions. The Holy Prophet peace be upon him is Allah's messenger. Here dear students you can see the beautiful names of Allah. We believe in Allah in accordance with his beautiful names and qualities. Allah has revealed his names repeatedly in the Holy Quran mostly for us to understand who he is. Learning and memorizing the names of Allah will help us to identify the correct way to believe in him. There is nothing more sacred and blessed than understanding the names of Allah and living by them. How do we expect to worship, love, fear and trust our Lord, the Almighty Allah, if we don't know who He is? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah has 99 names, 100 minus 1, and whoever knows them will go to paradise. Here dear students you can see the beautiful names of Allah. We believe in Allah in accordance with His beautiful names and qualities. Allah has revealed his names repeatedly in the Holy Quran mostly for us to understand who he is. 
Learning and memorizing the names of Allah will help us to identify the correct way to believe in Him. There is nothing more sacred and blessed than understanding the names of Allah and living by them. How do we expect to worship, love, fear and trust our Lord, the Almighty Allah, if we don't know who He is? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah has 99 names, 100 minus 1, and whoever knows them will go to paradise. The concept of responsibility in Islam covers all the aspects of human beings and considers different situations one may meet in his life. Islam is not only a religion but also a life plan, a divine plan that addresses all the humans throughout the history of humankind. Students following are the our duties towards Allah. I believe you all understood the topic. Now you can see this slide, these works should be done in your notebooks. Write neatly students. Take care and see you next class.